Hundreds of years ago, there was a dangerous forest that only brave hunters enter. If an ordinary hunter enters this forest, it's either they manage to come out without an arm, leg, or they never return, which is the simplified version of being eaten up by an animal. Because of this, few hunters from Yoruba land, which include Ladere on day. Ladene has many charms, which he uses to perform magic, such as turning into an animal. I mean animals like elephant, and that's why he is called Ladere. Ladene is settled in the forest, while other hunters rest and sharpen their irons in his hut when they come around the forest, and they name the place Ilorin. After some time, a village sprang up in the area as well, and Oladerin became the first head of the village. The position was later passed down through his lineage to Afonja. Afonja soon became so powerful that he was feared by everyone in Yoruba land. He waged war against many villages and some villages near Ilori. Many villages near Ilori are no longer in existence due to Afonja's war against them. Afoja's power seems infinite, and he was satisfied with that. But there is a problem, and the problem is that his king in Oyo, Allah Afin Aole, is not happy with him. This is because people no longer fear the Allah Afin. The only person they fear and dread is Afonja. One day, Afonja went to the king in Oyo and tell him to make him the generalissimo. Allah Afin Aole thought to himself, that here is a chance for him to defeat his biggest enemy, so he agreed. When a new generalissimo is crowned, it is a custom for the king to send him to war in any place of his choice, so he can ascertain that he is powerful enough. The generalissimo must not reject it, and if the generalissimo fails to conquer, he must commit suicide. So he made him the generalissimo and secretly planned with his chiefs to send him to fight an impossible war. They choose Iwere. No one has ever waged war against Iwere because it is situated on a hill, therefore difficult to defeat. As they planned this, one of the chiefs raised an issue. What if Afonja still end up conquering Iwere? So they developed the plan B which is that the king's army, who are going to join his army, should assassinate him. When they got near to Iwere, Afoja and his army first of all attacked and killed all the soldiers from Alaf inside. This is because one of the Afonja's loyalists among them had leaked the king's plan to Afonja. Afonja later went on and conquered Iwere. He returned to Oyo, and when he had almost reached Oyo, he sent an emissary to the palace to tell Allah to commit suicide, or else he would kill him and all his family. When the king heard this, he knew he has no option than to do Afonja's wish. But before he did it, he called the Yoruba race, saying they will never agree on one thing, and they will never love one another. After the causes, Aole poisoned himself and died. The cause started working fast because after this, Adibo was crowned the new Alafi and Afonja would no longer receive order from Alafi. He invited the man called Alimi from his north to become his spiritual father. When Alimi was coming, he came with his own soldiers. And together with these Alimi soldiers, Afonja waged war and destroyed many Yoruba villages. These Fulani armies, also called Jomo, soon start terrorizing the local people. They will steal and kill, and no one dares complain to Afonja. This went on for a long time, until one day, when something happened. A man named Fagbon, the Bale of Jabata, confronted Afonja that his Jomo was disrupting the peace of the people. And if care is not taken, the fuller needs he was shading will destroy Ilorin. While this goes on, 
the Fulani army knows they might soon be ordered out of Ilorin. So they asked Alimi to be their godfather, and Alimi agreed. This act looks like a betrayal, and so it deteriorates the relationship between him and his Fulani army. Afonja knew a civil war is coming in Ilorin, so he sent for Onikoji and some Yoruba fighters to come and assist him, but they all refused. Before Afonja could be ready for the war, he had been surrounded by the Jomos, who used thousands of arrows to pin him to the wall. Afonja died standing on his foot, and Alimi rebuilt Afonja's house, took the post of Bale away from Afonja's family, and became the Bale.